Hey Taurus, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and these are your deep thoughts for the next six weeks, right? For the rest of May on into June, give or take, just depends on you and your situation, but uh, hypothetically, this is how things are going to unfold in the next six weeks or so for you guys. Now, of course, this is a general reading for the sign of Taurus. If you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, this reading may very well resonate with you. That being said, this is not a substitute for a personal reading. So if there are things going on in your life that you need confirmation, clarity, understanding, or foresight about, it is worth its weight in gold to pay for a personal reading. Me, of course, I'm available to do personal readings. You can reach me in the at the link in the box below, which is the YouTube subscribers special. Normally, my readings are $100 for the general population, but for my YouTube subscribers, and I want to reiterate that, my YouTube subscribers... Um, my readings are only $50 for you guys because um, because of your loyalty. You're loyalty to me. I'm loyal to you. It's a give and take. It's a beautiful thing. So if you would like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at the link in the box below or at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If it's not me, please definitely search out a tarot card reader so you can get some confirmation and some clarity of your own personal reading. A general reading is not a substitute for a personal reading, okay? All right, all of the business to the side. Here we go. So, Taurus, we started out right here with the Nine of Swords, right? And the, this reading is beautiful. And I'm like, why? Why? Why the Nine of Swords, right? The Nine of Swords, intense anxiety, despair, depression, hopelessness, hopelessness, and torment. So why the Nine of Swords? So I asked for a clarifier. The cards told me that this Nine of Swords is is you, Taurus, as the Queen of Pentacles, is um, about your your personal security, right? This nine of swords energy that you have is about taking passionate, passionate action in regards to this situation. So I wasn't satisfied. So I asked the Rider Waite deck, why the nine of swords? The nine of swords, because as this reading unfolds, you'll understand that there is a, an opportunity for you to end one cycle of your life and begin a new cycle of your life. It's about personal closure, right? So personal closure to the Empress, the, the opportunity to have abundance that you have yet to have in this particular situation. Temperance came in and says that where there was a misalignment of values in the past, there is now a realignment of values in the present for this situation. What is this situation? The situation is the Ace of Pentacles. It's the manifestation of a brand new opportunity. Okay? The, and, and the manifestation of this brand new opportunity has you in the nine of swords, right? A lot of anxiety. I'm not going to say despair or hopelessness, depression, maybe a little torment, but definitely some anxiety, right? What is all of this about? Well, all of this is about the fool, a brand new beginning and a brand new journey to the world card again, twice to the world card. Personal closure, completion of one life cycle, and the beginning of a new life cycle. Now, the world is also about travel. So, you know, if it fits with you, throw some travel in there too. But nevertheless, it's one life cycle ending and a new life cycle beginning for you with a new beginning and a new journey. Clarified by the Ace of Wands. Inspired action, powerful, creative passionate new beginning in your life. 
Queen of Wands. Now, this is you, Taurus, as well. Yes, you are the Queen of Pentacles back here, and you are the Empress as well. You are the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. However, you are presenting at this particular placement in this spread as the Queen of Wands. She is passionate. She's determined. She's successful. She is... Um, she has a fire in her chest, right? A fire in her chest about this new beginning and this new journey, about taking inspired action to write a whole new chapter in her life, right? And her, because it's a queen, okay? This new journey, this writing a new chapter, this taking inspired action in your life right here puts you in the energy of the two of wands. This is about planning for your future, making progress, making decisions, and, and discovering things that perhaps you have not um, been aware of to this point. The alchemist comes in and just reiterates inspired action, right? You have manifested something into your life. You have manifested this Ace of Wands, this new chapter in your life, and this new beginning in this new journey. And it is the Nine of Cups. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. Right? It's all beautiful. So you can see why I really wanted to dig into that Nine of Swords right there. And now that I see the rest of this reading, I understand it. So just to reiterate, you're about to start a new chapter in your life. You're about to have abundance like you probably may not have had before. There's going to be a realignment of values that were misaligned in the past. And there is an opportunity for a prosperous new beginning. Okay? New beginning, new journey, new beginning, new beginning. Passionate, manifested. Wishes fulfilled. So down here we have temperance again. Second time temperance has come up in this reading, right? This temperance, I do believe, in this particular positioning, I really feel like this temperance, like this temperance card is talking about self-healing. A realignment, like this one was, a realignment of values and some healing that is being brought to this situation, okay? There is some expedient communication coming into you. Quick movement, action, speed coming into you. This card is also about travel. We have the world in the world with travel, the fool with a little bit of travel, and the eight of wands with travel. So if, if, it, if it fits for you, take it. I want to point it out. But nevertheless, this eight of wands is about swift action, communication, movement, right? Energetic movement about the princess of cups. This is a messenger of a creative new beginning in your life. Causes some conflict, though. Causes some conflict, hence the Nine of Swords. It causes some conflict because this is a tower moment. This is upheaval and chaos in what you thought you had already taken care of with the Ten of Swords. You thought that this situation was put to an end. You thought it was dead. You thought it was over because there was heartbreak in the past. Painful separation, grief, rejection, heartbreak. There was heartbreak in the past. So this causes a complete and total tower moment for you. This communication that comes in about a, a messenger of a creative new beginning causes conflict, causes a tower moment because it was dead and gone, followed by heartbreak. Okay? But there's this communication coming in. What is this communication? This is, this is communication from somebody in your past that wants to reunite and reconcile. Okay? Six of Cups, Three of Cups to the Six of Cups. This Three of Cups is all about um, celebration and friendship, right? Celebration and friendship could indicate that maybe this broken heart was caused by a third party situation in the past. But nevertheless, it's about coming together and celebrating nostalgia with somebody from your past. So this is you and this person who is bringing in this communication 
with the Eight of Wands about a creative new beginning that creates conflict, a tower moment because you thought it was dead and gone because of heartbreak. So this person from your past, you're sitting down with this person from your past and talking about reuniting and reconciling, right? Nostalgia, memories, talking about the good old days, talking about what happened right here, right? Just talking it out. Overwhelming emotion, much, much love in this situation. So y'all talk it out, right? You talk it out. And this Ten of Swords over here, which was the death to this relationship in the past is now being resurrected in this positioning. This is about recovery and regeneration. So y'all sit down with the three of cups and you have some drinks and you talk about some things. There's overwhelming emotion. What you're talking about is resurrecting this relationship causes a lot of confusion for you with the seven of cups. It really, really does. Causes a lot of confusion because you thought it was dead and gone and there was pain in the past, right? You thought it had been done, right? Causes a lot of confusion because of the wheel, because of this, this offer that comes in from this Six of Cups character from your past that wants to start a new life cycle with you. New life cycle with the world, new journey with the fool, new life cycle with the world, building abundance, new beginnings with the Ace of Pentacles, new beginnings with the Ace of Wands, wishes fulfilled, right? So there's a lot of confusion for you with the Seven of Cups because, because you just, you know, it's tempting. It's very tempting because like I said, there is much love here in this situation. However, eh, you know, there was pain from the past and it had ended, right? But y'all talk it out. And the Prince of Swords is straightforward, action oriented communication. That's what this was right here with this Eight of Wands. This is action oriented communication coming into you about uh, with a message of a creative new beginning in your life, right? Causes a tower moment. You thought it was dead and gone because of pain and sorrow and heartbreak from the past. So this person from your past that wants to reunite and reconcile with you brings in this communication. Y'all sit down, you talk about it, you talk about the good times, and you both walk away with the Ten of Swords right here being, let's resurrect this relationship. Let's regenerate what we had in the past. This person that's bringing in this communication that... This person that's bringing in the communication, okay, is this King of Wands character right here. This is, um, yes, it's a fire sign. It can be anybody, though. This person is passionate. They're large and in charge. You are very, very attracted to this person, right? I mean, we do have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands right here, right? This represents success, vitality, um, just a real sexy kind of character, right? Real sexy kind of character. So this King of Wands from your past brings in um, swift movement, brings in messages, right? That you got to kind of temper a little bit because there's a lot of confusion and conflict about the about this message of a creative new beginning with this person. Causes a tower moment. It was dead and gone heartbreak, pain, and grief from this King of Wands. However, now this King of Wands is coming back, talking all kinds of nostalgic memories and wanting to regenerate this relationship. He's bringing in his cup of love with the Prince of Cups. This is the metaphorical knight in shining armor, right? He's saying, here, Taurus, here's my cup of love. Take my cup of love. I love you, Taurus. With the King of Swords, going right back to the Prince of Swords, action-oriented communication, truth, was spoken when y'all sat down right there and, and talked some things out about regenerating this relationship. Truth was spoken about hope, faith, purpose, and renewal of the situation. This person from your past right here is coming in hard, right? The King of Wands, he's not a pansy. 
When the King of Wands wants something, he goes in and he takes it. Okay? And that's what this character right here is doing. He is coming on hard with the chariot, rolling on in hard about hope, faith, purpose, and um, spirituality, a little bit. Reuniting, reconciling, bringing you his cup of love and truth with the King of Swords. Bringing truth about what happened back here. This causes some confusion for you. Some, some confusion, some indecision, right? Perhaps you weren't even expecting this. Perhaps it came out of nowhere. Perhaps you just thought you'd go have a drink for, you know, nostalgia, a cup of coffee for old time's sake. And then it turns into all of this and it's blowing up in front of you. And you're like, what the fuck? With the two of swords, you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Because there is much love in this situation. Much love with the queen of cups. You have some serious leftover feels for this person, this king of wands from your past. Puts you into the high priestess energy. You sit down with your intuition and your subconscious mind and you really, really dig into whether this is something that you really want to start again or not. And that's why that nine of swords is there. You take inventory of the situation with the Prince of Pentacles. This guy's job is to survey the landscape, survey the kingdom, make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to do. He has the resources, the tools, and um, um, the, 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 the workers are working and things are getting done, right? And that's what you're doing in the high priestess mode. You're surveying the landscape. You're thinking about the truth that was spoken. You're thinking about the reconciliation, the reuniting, the regeneration of a relationship that you thought was dead that is now causing a freaking tower moment for you. That's what you're doing in the high priestess energy. You are surveying the landscape and testing the waters and trying to come to some kind of resolution about how you feel about taking this new journey, having this new beginning, this inspired, passionate new beginning, writing a new chapter of your life that includes this King of Wands character from your past. So what's the outcome here? What's the outcome? Well, we have transition, right? Transition with the Six of Swords because of a whole lot of feels with the King of Cups. Judgment comes in and says you are making a decision that is going to change the trajectory of your life. This is a card about following your inner calling. Nine of Pentacles says you, Taurus, as a single independent individual, um there's a culmination to this situation right here because truth was spoken and there's a culmination to the situation where somebody where where somebody was once in disrepute and had a fall from grace now there is success and achievement and victory and progress in the situation somebody i think apologized if they didn't apologize they explained things in a way that made this broken heart and the ending of this relationship different to you. Outcome, a new beginning and a new journey with the Fool card twice. New beginning and a new journey. With this King of Wands, Queen of Wands, fiery, passionate personality. It's much love with the Ace of Cups. Much love. Calling a truce to any indecision that you had in the past. Calling a truce. Returning the communication. Returning the truth. Returning the communication. Right? Telling this King of Wands character from your past, yes, let's transform. Let's transition this relationship into something new. Speaking your truth laying down some some guidelines some boundaries trying to 
to to to orchestrate the whole thing so there's no more of this there's no more ambiguity you want things king of swords king of swords see he speaks the king of swords the king of wands speaks the king of swords and the prince of swords and there's you speaking the king of swords and there is your prince of swords right there right so you guys are having some very pointed straightforward communication about what is expected in this regeneration of this relationship that has died in the past queen of queen of pentacles comes in this is you saying this is the way it has to be for me or it cannot be this is you taurus speaking your truth with the prince of swords or the knight of swords and the king of swords because this king of wands character spoke his truth with the prince of swords and the king of swords and now you're speaking you're returning the communication and speaking your truth with the knight of swords and the king of swords as the queen of pentacles the builder that you are I bet you any money that you are addressing the third party's situation that probably caused the ending and the pain to this relationship in the first place not only that, but on the flip side of this card, there is celebration, right? Coming together and clinking cups and saying, sealed deal, right? It's a deal. We are going to break free from the betrayal, the deception, the shady behavior of the past. We're going to break free of those mental challenges and we are going to come together in celebration. The devil comes in. This devil is reiterating third party situation, shady behavior from the past. What this is also saying is that there is a lot of chemistry and a lot of sexuality between you and this person. This King of Wands character right here, Taurus, they do it for you. They do it for you. And despite any third party situations, any shady behavior in the past, a relationship that ended, heartbreak, pain, sorrow, grief, separation, um, you, you have it enough for this person where you're willing to reunite or reconcile after all of this truth is spoken. The chariot comes in again, chariot moving hard, rolling hard, right? Decision made, truth spoken. It's on the emperor. This is all about authority, establishment, structure, and control of your life because all of this truth was spoken. Now there's nothing ambiguous anymore. All of this has been washed out. It's all been laid on the table and there is not any, um, there's no dark crevice that has not been spoken about with the King of Swords and the, the Prince of Swords on both sides, right? Everything is crystal clear, and now y'all can sow the foundation of your future. Look, the Ten of Pentacles, the foundation of your future. Family, wealth, establishment. To the Eight of Pentacles, engaging, working on it, gaining mastery of this particular situation. Topped by the Queen of Cups. Love, 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 love. Feels all over the place. I can almost pet these cards. They're so warm and fuzzy, right? Feels all over the place. Both y'all, this King of Wands and you as the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles twice. And um, you were someplace else. Oh, the Queen of Wands as well. You, I mean, just warm, fuzzy, passionate love. Just, just, it's beautiful. And that is the outcome of this reading. Taurus is is a reconciliation, truth spoken, wounds being healed, a brand new beginning, a brand new journey, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, hope, faith, purpose, and renewal of this relationship. Like I said, the time frame for this is about six weeks, give or take, right? Depending upon your situation, this is not your personal reading. If you need a personal reading, reach out to me at deepthoughtswithdana.com or click the link in the box below and um, I will hook you up for 50 bucks just for you, just for your situation. Okay, Taurus, there you go. That is your late May into June reading. I hope it resonated and namaste.